All right, I wanted to demonstrate some statistics today uh, and why you might want to look at statistics. A lot of times people just think everything is a Gaussian Gaussian distribution, the bell-shaped curve, right? Everybody, everybody says that, but uh, that's not always true. So I'm going to be looking at this oscillator. This is a 433 megahertz oscillator, and it uses a, a saw resonator, a surface acoustic wave resonator as the uh, crystal. Instead of a, a quartz crystal, it's using, it is using quartz, but it's using a surface acoustic wave uh, formulation. I, I need to do a video on those. Anyway, so we have this uh, set up, and let's take a look at it on the oscilloscope. All right, let's do auto scale, see what we got here. There we go, we get a, uh, we get a sine wave. And um, we really can't zoom in any farther because I'm at 500 picoseconds per division already. This is 433 megahertz, but we're interested in that jitter there. You can see that we have a thin line here, but we have a thick line here. So there's obviously some phase jitter here. Let's see if we can set up a measurement on that. We'll turn on measurement. It's a time measurement we want to do. And let's do a uh, uh, pulse width. There we go. We're going to measure that, that pulse width and we'll, right now it's about 1.15 nanoseconds, but it's jittering. So we need to add some statistics to that. Histogram. Turn on the histogram. Now it's going to be starting to look at some jitter data, okay? And it will build up a histogram here. If you can see, uh, there's a uh, plot here that's going up. Now it's a different scale than this plot. This is this is some type of time here. It's marked. It's marked on there what the time scale is. But um, we can let that histogram go up, and you can change the size of that histogram. So let's uh, make it go as big as it can. Oops. Uh, yeah, that's as big as it goes. There we go. Now we got a nice big one. And uh, you can see that um, it is not Gaussian. Um, we have uh, sort of a Gaussian and then a second lump here. So that, that it looks like there's maybe two modes of of potential oscillation of this thing. One, one resonance may be in one domain and one resonance in another domain. And sometimes one is uh, more dominant than the other. And uh, you'll get a, a, a strange looking statistic. I'll see here. I will take a picture. And then we'll let it run for several minutes and we'll see what type of uh, statistic we end up with. All right, well, it's been running several minutes. We have uh, 330,000 uh, data points in our statistics and that's been plotted out there. Uh, see if I can zoom in a bit for you guys. Uh, but yeah, let's take a picture of that. And uh, Call it quits. So uh, just a quick pointer that, you know, running statistics is sometimes a, a interesting thing to do. And you might learn something uh, that you wouldn't have expected. You would have expected maybe this thing to be a Gaussian response in, in statistics, the variability and stuff, but it's not. You can see that uh, it's, it's kind of bimodal. And in, in addition to that, this kind of a more on that side of, of, the, of the hump and, and less on that side. So there's a, a, steeper, a steeper distribution on, on, on this side. So uh, the, the oscillation mode really kind of has a hard limit in this direction, but a softer limit in the, uh, in the lower direction. Anyway, there you go.